Hi, I'm not Rod Lurie. I'm George Chickenlooper, and I'm here for Trailers from Hell to talk to you about the picture Rod Lurie wanted to talk to you about, Stanley Kubrick's classic, Paths of Glory. Paths of Glory is based on the 1935 novel by Humphrey Cobb. Kubrick had read the book in his childhood, and after he became an established director uh, with The Killing, starring Sterling Hayden, he decided to make that his next picture and optioned the book for $10,000 from Cobb's widow, which tells the story of three French soldiers who are executed for cowardice uh, during the First World War. Colonel Dax, you will apologize at once or I shall be placed under arrest. I apologize for not being entirely honest with you. I apologize for not revealing my true feelings. I apologize, sir, for not telling you sooner that you're a degenerate, sadistic old man. And you can go to hell before I apologize to you now or ever again! I think what's remarkable about Paths of Glory is that it's Kubrick's first film that really illustrates his signature style. The use of wide-angle lenses, the use of lateral dolly moves. Too frank. What sort of casualties do you anticipate, sir? Mm, say, 5% killed by our own barrage. It's a very generous allowance. 10% more in getting through no man's land, and 20% more getting through the wire. That leaves 65%, for the worst part of the job over. I think his cinematographer, George Krauss, really had a big influence on Kubrick's look and feel. Prior to Paths of Glory, his films had more of a, a flat look. I think they were much more influenced by his work in documentaries and much more influenced by his work in photography. I think Krauss introduced Kubrick to the idea of wide-angle lenses, which became his very famous style through the rest of his body of work and which is heavily influential, particularly with young directors like Quentin Tarantino and Wes Anderson. But I think that's what's one of the most remarkable things about Paths of Glory, is it really exhibited his, his use of the wide-angle lens. The picture was shot in Bavaria, Germany. The only female uh, to appear in the film, who appears at the end of the film and sings this beautiful song which brings all the soldiers to tears, is played by Christiane Harlan, who married Kubrick and stayed married to him until his death in 1999. They met on the set in Bavaria. The picture stars Kirk Douglas, Adolf Manjou, Joe Turkle, who later appeared in Kubrick's The Shining, and Timothy Carey in a performance that, in my view, is one of the best, most memorable performances in any war film, including De Niro's performance in The Deer Hunter. It's, it's a very moving performance uh, about a soldier being brought to his execution. The film was extremely controversial when it was released. Uh, it was not allowed to be seen in France until 1975. Paths of Glory lost the Best Picture BAFTA Award to Bridge Over the River Kwai, but in 1992 the Library of Congress deemed it a film of historic and cultural significance. Today it remains my favorite Kubrick film.